Oh, we're gonna do this in the court of law. All right. Yep. I guess it's the appropriate place. Oh, that's a nice remix of an old theme. Your Honor, if I may, I'd like to test your witness testimony to see how it stands up. Do you doubt me? Am I your new suspect? In a sense, I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Even you, a judge, is nothing but the common witness before a von karma. Silence in the courtroom. Silence, I said. Mr. New Prosecutor, recommended by Manfred von Karma and genius, Miss Genius Prosecutor. You bit your tongue again, didn't you? As a defender of the law, I would never give false testimony. You can even place me under oath if you want. Very well then, your testimony, if you please. <laughs> we get to cross-examine the judge? Yeah! Nobody. Why are we standing behind? Did we move to go behind the uh, <laughs> the benches for this? During the recess, I went down to the restroom. There was a window on the hallway side. In other words, I could see into the hallway. As I entered, I saw a detective buying something from the vending machine. But when I was about to exit the restroom, he had completely disappeared. A detective that goes missing while on duty. That sounds mighty suspicious to me! Your Honor, can you please try to remain calm? Oh! I'm used to simply listening to testimonies that I got caught up in the excitement. I'm sorry, <laughs> Your Honor, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to spoil your fun now. Success, I went to the restroom. Hold it! Hold it. Your Honor, why exactly did you pay a visit to the restroom, if I may ask? Oh, well, isn't this obvious? What else would you go to the restroom for? <laughs> I had to piss! Were you going number one or number two, Judge? <laughs> you suspect me of some sort of tomfoolery, don't you? You think I'm smoking weed in the bathroom! Stay calm, You think I'm Honor. smoking weed? You think I'm smoking crack cocaine? Well, to be fair, it is 20... Well, no, at this point, weed wouldn't be legal in California. Not yet. Give it another seven years. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're right. I need to think things through with a level head. I'm just nervous because so much has happened today with this trial. Let's see, I announced a recess and a time for us to be... But having done all that, I still wasn't able to go to the restroom right away. And why couldn't you? Mr. Faraday had been accused, so I had paperwork to process regarding a new prosecutor. Once I had finished that, I was finally able to make a mad dash to the restroom. At least he stayed consistent on the going to the restroom part of his testimony. I had to piss. And had to poop. Hold it. Your Honor, did you really go to the men's restroom? <laughs> what is the meaning of that statement? <laughs> I simply meant that perhaps you wouldn't do a restroom on a different floor. I had to go for such a long time. It was all I could do to dash to the closest one to the courtroom. I suppose that's only natural given the circumstance. I ran from the courtroom through this floor's main lobby and down the hallway. Once you enter, you can see through a window just above the urinals. Why would you put a window above the Why? <laughs> Just make dead eye contact with someone who's <laughs> taking a piss. And it was through that window that you... Oh, and it was through that window that you witnessed Detective Gumshoe, Your Honor. Yes, exactly! Yeah. Your Honor, there was no need to yell. I can hear you just fine. Oh, I guess I should put a little too much in that last time. <laughs> now then, let's continue with the testimony. So as I was pissing... <laughs> I sound like fried chicken. <laughs> Damn, Your Honor, you piss loud as fuck. <laughs> Are you sure that the person you witnessed was Detective Gumshoe, Your Honor? Yes, I'm absolutely sure. It's hard to miss someone of his stature, even from as far away as the courtroom. Besides, I can't think of anyone else with that kind of hairstyle and big beige coat. Well, I was simply wondering if you were mistaken in what you saw. What? Preposterous! My eyes are as sharp as can be, ready to be see through lies to the truth. Although recently, things do seem to be a bit positive than they used to be. 
Clearly his eyes are not the only thing that have gone fuzzy. But allow me to say, with all the honor and dignity of a judge, I am not mistaken in what I saw. When I was about to exit the restroom, he had completely disappeared. He disappeared. But, Your Honor, didn't you just say I saw that detective find something from the vending machines? Why, yes, I did. I looked down to look at my junk, and then I looked back up, but he wasn't there. I looked down to see my giant penis. I just had to look at it in its formidable state. But... <laughs> Like eternal 12. Just as I was about to exit, I took another look and there was no one in sight. That led me to the only solution to this mystery. That detective must have gone to the crime scene lobby number two at that point! So he looked into the hallway from the restaurant over the courtyard. The detective that goes missing while I'm doing it, that's almighty suspicious to me! Your Honor, I ask that you please remain calm. No, 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 I am perfectly calm. You're being anything but perfectly calm. <laughs> it appears that his honor could not could have not been mistaken in what he saw. I suppose so, given his line of sight. However, Francisco, why do you suppose our line lines of sight are so different? If you're referring to my height. Can't you hold that whip still for just a second? Now, about his honor's testimony, I believe his line of sight to be an important factor. If that's in if it's that important, why don't you hurry up and tell him already? I will, but there's one more thing I need to do on correcting his honor's testimony. I'm going to need to retrace Detective Gumshoe's movements. What's the piece of evidence that proves that he sat down? Okay, well, so he completely disappeared. That kept on missing. That sounds mighty suspicious to me. I'm guessing this to prove he didn't go missing. No! Come on! Please do not tell me that it's the other statement I need to... Oh. Objection. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Literally, it was two statements saying pretty much the same thing. That's just a coin flip. Fuck off. That's God. What are you? What was that finger whack for, Mr. Edgeworth? And don't you know it's rude to shout objection while someone is giving testimony? Wait, you work in a, This happens all the time. If you truly are a man of the law, then you must always be vigilant. For example, I myself never let an opportunity to shout objection pass me by. Miles Detroit, it's one thing to be passionate about your job, but this is real life. This is what some people may say is the pot calling the kettle black. Your Honor, I wonder if you, you might take a look at this for me. What is that filth? How dare someone dirty the hallway bench like that? Who is the culprit? That party is hereby found guilty of uncleanliness! If you must know, the uncouth bench sullier has already been placed under arrest thanks to your earlier testimony, Your Honor. Oh, well, that's good, but who was it? We were able to discover something from the smudge on the bench, namely Detective Gumshoe's fingerprints. Not happy with committing just murder, he had to go and dirty the courtroom now, too. Guilty! Your Honor, please calm down. Well, it's true that the detective is the one who made the mess on the bench. We have not yet to establish his actions related to the double murder. What do you mean? I believe that the detective bought a pack of Swiss rolls from the vending machine, and then promptly sat down on the bench to eat one. Mer <laughs> the kid comes in a piece of chocolate on the floor under the bench, and Detective Gumshoe's fingerprints prove my conclusion to be true. Oh, but I still don't understand! Is this whole thing related to how I couldn't see him as I was leaving the courtroom? It is indeed. The window in the hallway was built rather high up into the wall, and a, a grown adult's chest height, as evidence I submit that Francisca herself was unable to see out that window. 
Fuck you, Edgeworth. Fuck you, too. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't have used her height as evidence. But also, like, fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> it was totally worth it. Basically, what this means is that the area directly under the hallway is a blind spot in the hallway to be viewed from the men's restroom. Then... It seems that you have made the connection. If someone were to sit on the bench under the window... Yes, even someone as large as Detective Gumshoe would effectively disappear from sight. What? We gotcha, bitch! You finally see your honor. Your testimony has just proven that Detective Gumshoe is in the hallway. Oh, it's Francisca. Oh, sorry! Oh, wait, what? I didn't oh, mean to say it with such that much enthusiasm. All I wanted to do was try saying it once. Here, let me try that again. Hold it! Is there something of value that you like to say? Yes, actually, there is. I remembered something else just now. Mr. Edgeworth, please allow me to testify to the court one more time. Even if we overruled him, he'd just keep on talking, wouldn't he? That might not be a bad thing. The more I'm through, the better at this perfect... in a perfect investigation, right? Just so you know, if I if, if if I was for some reason investigating a crime with my sister, I too would submit her height as evidence <laughs> just to slight her. So I understand oh where God. he's coming from. Fun fact, she's not that much shorter than me. I'm 6'2", she's 5'8". Mm. But if there was for some reason my height came as an advantage, I would do it without a, a, in a heartbeat. I suppose it's possible you can't see a seated person from the restroom window. However, that doesn't mean that a detective was sitting there when I looked. Anyway, I forgot to testify earlier about probably the most important detail. As I was leaving the restroom, I heard a loud bang of a gunshot. <laughs> a balloon. It's a balloon. How was that? That is the testimony of one who judges the crimes of others. <laughs> How about them apples? Them cojones? Your Honor, could you try to state the important facts first next time? I agree. Before you go around judging others, you should learn to judge your own words. I'm sorry. Honestly, I thought that sound was just a noise popper until just now. Now that he mentions it, right before we restarted the trial, he did talk about that. Oh, by the way, there was someone celebrating a birthday during the recess. Crazy. Party poppers. Crazy. All them party poppers. Party, party, pop pop party, party popping in the house tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my favorite song, and it makes sense because it would be like 2012 right now. <laughs> Whatever lines up with it when the gun was actually fired. Your Honor, if I may, I'd like you to clarify a few details in your testimony. I really don't want to go back through all of his other stuff, so I'm just going to go straight to what's kind of important. Yeah, that's a good idea. However, uh, it doesn't mean that the thing is sitting there when I look. Anyway, I forgot to testify earlier about probably the As I was leaving the restroom, I heard the loud bang of a gunshot. Your Honor, about what you said. I know, I couldn't believe it myself. Bang! When the gun. Oh, bah, 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 bah. Ah, I jumped in the air. Like this! Yes! Like this! With a quick ah! <laughs> <laughs> your, your Honor. Please remain calm when you're trying to explain yourself to me. Yes, sir. I'm sorry about that. Now then, I must gather myself, yes. When I heard the gunshot, there was no one in the hall. I know, I looked. There was no one there. The judge's emotions sir, appear to be stubborn and overreact. At this point, nothing stands out to me as a contradiction in his testimony. Hmm. Francisca, about to show you how it's done. I know that. And that's why I said, at this point. I think my first line of attack will be to draw more information from his honor. Wait. Do I need to press everything? Right. I'm gonna... I'm gonna save state because if the answer is to press everything, I'm gonna be pissed. Because obviously what we can do here... The balloon! The balloon! Fuck off, game. Oh my god, shut I, up. I have to press all of it. <sighs> in that case, do you can see that you were overconfident in your last testimony? Now hold on there. 
I just said that it's possible you can't see a seated person from the restroom like th this time. You know something? I don't think you know when the prints you referenced were left on the bench, do you? <laughs> well, you have proven that it's possible, Detective Sitting. I still have a problem with just when those fingerprints were left. I guess that's fair. <laughs> and Fane's ignorance is haunted has a lot of life. As judge, I must have underestimated him. However, that doesn't mean that the detective was sitting there when I looked. Oh, as we established, you went to the restroom during the recess. However, at what point in the recess did you look into the hallway? Well, you see, I looked into the hallway while I was pissing! Yeah. 20 minutes until we reconvene. Yes, that sounds about right. Hmm. Just as I expected. What were you expecting? I demand to know what all knowing smile was for. Your Honor, that statement you made just now is very important. I'd like for you to append to your testimony. Oh, I know why. Oh, uh, wait, what did he say? Oh, uh, see, I looked into the hallway about 20 minutes before we were to reconvene. Okay, what was the time that I was given? The gunshot right before the trial was about to start. Okay. Hold it! 20 minutes before we reconvene. Very well. What did you do after that? Well, let's see. I had to make some preparations, so I rushed straight back to the courtroom. I also had to track down a few pieces of paperwork for the various bailiffs. So you rushed back to the courtroom despite having just heard a gunshot. Well, at this time, I thought it was just the sound of a noise popper. Okay. So, yeah, no, that's what we need to... Yeah, do. that's... Okay. Mm -hmm. See, thinking back, the judge did mention something to the effect when we convened. Anyway, okay. Okay, this one's pretty easy. It's not a gun! You couldn't have heard a gun, you silly man! You silly, silly, silly bitch! I cannot allow you to make an objection. What? What? Your Honor, I'm really sorry, but... I cannot allow you to not allow me to make an objection. Well, I cannot allow you to not allow me to not allow you to make an objection. Blah, 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 blah. Honor, there are simply too many holes in your testimony for my taste. What do you mean by that? I'm just saying I prefer cheddar to Swiss. <laughs> Fuck. You claim that you heard the gunshot during the recess, but that's simply not possible. Mr. New Prosecutor recommended by Magic Bond. <laughs> Instead of biting her tongue, oh, blah, 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 I didn't blah. press any button. I see you have no mercy for the elderly either, Francisca. Well, don't you understand? Don't talk back to me unless you want to be whipped in the back. I hate the elderly. <laughs> <laughs> With your height, you need to step ladder or four to accomplish that. Oh my god. Yes! I'm so glad that this has just devolved into him making fun of Francisca's height. This is perfect. <laughs> My ears are not that far gone, yet I'll have you know I can hear that just fine. And I heard the sound of a gunshot loud and clear with my own two eyes. <laughs> Your Honor, I have here an interesting bit of testimony. It's from Detective Bad. According to him, he heard the gunshot right before the trial was about to start again. What did you just say? Your Honor, you just said that you heard the gunshot about 20 minutes before we were to reconvene. How do you explain this glaring contradiction? That can't be! Unfortunately, that is the truth. But I heard it clear as day. Bang! The loud of a gunshot! The sound of a gunshot! The sound of the gunshot, and I kept returning to this mm -hmm. intention and that piece of evidence. I always did wonder why I found it, but I did. However, now I understand what the gunshot the judge heard really heard was. Um, bah, bah, bah. You dumbass, it was a balloon! You heard a balloon! A ballad! I found this object in the hallway earlier. What is that pink substance? It may not look it, but this actually is a piece of a balloon. I see. And I suppose you would take me to accept that pink balloon into the court. <laughs> Did you hear the sound effect it played? No. It played the, the, the sound that plays whenever you add evidence into the court. Oh record. my god. <laughs> Your Honor? I present this piece of evidence in order to overrule your testimony. What? Your Honor, your argument goes as follows. You saw no one in the hallway when you heard the gunshot. Now, there is no guarantee that the detective was sitting on the bench at that time. Therefore, you believe that he must have been at the crime scene defendant lobby number two. Am I correct? 
Yes, that's exactly right. Let me ask you something. Do you think the gunshot you heard was produced by a real gun? I think I said enough that you and you can figure the rest out on your own. Your Honor, you were fooled by the popping of this balloon into thinking it was a gunshot. What manner of trickery is this? <laughs> that was a good effort you put forth, Miles Edgeworth. But if it was me, I'd wrap this thing up before the judge even testified. You fuck. Good, good fucking luck. <laughs> Could you elaborate on how this one ends something before it even begins? Well, to be honest, I did think that the sound was a bit off from a real gunshot sound. But who could have guessed that someone would pop a balloon in a place like this? That's true. One doesn't usually think balloons in conjunction with the courthouse. Except... The child! That's it. The balloon that girl was holding it explains everything. Your Honor, if it makes you feel any better, you didn't lie once in your testimony. However, I can't really vouch for its accuracy. Who knew that giving a testimony could be such a difficult thing to do? What have I done? I owe Detective Gumshoe a very big apology. I will see to it myself that he is released. Wait. There are still a few things I have yet to resolve about what happened in the hallway. Your Honor, I request your permission to further question Detective Gumshoe. But, but why? I thought we just cleared his name! Whether we did just now or not, I still cannot say. The only thing I can do for now is to continue my quest for the perfect explanation. <laughs> and to that end, I must resolve the remaining issue pertaining to these events that occurred in the hallway. Very well, Bailiff! Please bring Detective Gumshoe into the courtroom. I must fulfill my mission and find the perfect explanation to this case. Your Honor, League of Legends! Death! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, give me one second. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go be right back like no worries not even put brb on you know so fast alex alex Your Honor, I've returned. Did y'all step away too? <laughs> no, I'm still here. Okay. I didn't hear you out of my headphones. Alright, yeah. let's, let's, let's get to a point where we can save. <laughs> but yeah, I'm oh, tired. Yeah. What is it now? Is it time for my trial already? Can I just save during the- Alright, yeah, I think I might call this here. I think- Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm- Oh, I'm all right. a little tired. Yeah, I'm a little sleepy too. Do you want to see if we can clear this up on Sunday? Because I think- It shouldn't be that much longer. We've already been playing for like four hours, unless this case is like- <laughs> We can- we can try on Sunday, yeah. yeah. we can try to play a little bit more on Sunday. Mm -hmm.